Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Deskalski with ACC Telecom and I'm going to do a video today showing you how to use your uh, 3CX mobile client. Uh, the mobile client does function for both iOS and Android. Uh, basically this is an app that gives you access to your office extension calls from an app on a cell phone. Uh, I can receive calls from here, I can make phone calls from here. A uh, big benefit making phone calls from here is uh, the outside caller ID will be my office number and not my cell phone number. So anybody out there that wants to be able to call clients without having to have them see your cell number, this is a perfect app. I can make phone calls from here and show my office caller ID. I can also call individuals within the company without having to do a 10 digit number. I can three digit, four digit, whatever digit dial to other people in the office right from the app. So some general things about the app, uh, upper right hand corner there's a colored box. That colored box is what will allow you to update your profile status. Every extension in the 3CX comes with five profiles. There's available, away, do not disturb, lunch, and by default it's called business trip. I updated mine to vacation. The lunch and business trip profiles can be renamed by the individual to something that fits their use. Um, they can stay lunch and business trip or you can rename one. I renamed one to vacation. If I want to update what profile I'm in, I simply click the one that I want or touch the screen for the one that I want and hit done and that will then put me into that appropriate profile that I chose. If you go back into that, you hit the little carrot off to the right hand side. Here's where you can actually see what the settings are for that profile. So at the top there, you can put a custom status message. So if you were to look at my do not disturb one, the custom status is in a meeting. And that's something completely changeable at any given time. I could put that in a meeting till 3 o'clock p.m. and in a meeting till 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, do not disturb is just out for the day, whatever it may be. Uh, but you can simply put a small custom message that will allow the other individuals in your company to see what your status is from their profiles, from their present screen, which I'll show you that shortly. You can update any of the settings here. I may get this little pop-up every now and then using a software called Lonely Screen to mirror my cell phone's screen to the computer. Uh, Lonely Screen basically emulates Apple AirPlay. So, but it's a freeware, which is why I get a little pop-up every now and then. But I can update the profile statuses from here, what they do, switch back to after, um, forward, in call, I can, uh, forward internal calls to another extension in, in the company, an outside phone number, whatever it may be, just by simply clicking on the setting and making the adjustments. If I get out of there, the little Q button, the little Q icon next to the colored box, that's for if you were part of um, uh, ACD groups. So call queuing. The 3CX does supply uh, a full-blown ACD uh, setup for call queuing. So if you have a call center environment, 3CX is a perfect solution for that. That little queue allows me to log in and log out of queues right from my mobile app. But just by simply clicking that, it's going to bring up a menu to log out of all queues or to log in of all queues, depending upon the scenario. The uh, the picture there is just a, an avatar button, or an av avatar icon showing you a picture you can upload. Uh, you have the ability to upload those photos using the web client. Uh, I have a separate video out uh, that you can actually watch how to use the web client version of this that's accessible from a computer and you can upload an image to that that will carry over to the web client and, and mobile, mobile app. Some icons across the bottom there, the first one on the left is status. This is the present screen I was talking about. So you can actually see the status of all of the extensions in the company, uh, whether they're on the phone, off the phone, if they're in a particular profile status. So you can see my status there. I'm in Do Not Disturb in a meeting, and it's showing that all my calls are going to voicemail. If I were to change myself back to available, I'll get the green light. Uh, you can see below mine, uh, Holly Van Houten's extension is in a call. So you get a yellow, a yellow box there. So very easily, just by color of the box, as well as words on the screen, I can see what's going on with that individual at any given time. 
the little carrots there off on the right hand side if I were to click that you can actually see more information about that user if they have a mobile number filled in you'll see it here if there's an email number an email address you'll see that there I can do a chat directly to them I can do an intercom call to the individual uh, intercom call would be like a uh, voice announce so by default when you dial an internal extension from your phone that other extension rings and they can't talk back to you until they actually answer the phone call. Intercom would be a voice announce where it just bursts through, you get a beep, and it's all hands-free. The conference icon would start a conference call with that extension, leave a voicemail to leave a voicemail directly to that extension, or call extension, whatever the number may be, and it'll actually call that extension number of that user. Next icon at the bottom is contacts. This one here, will, what you see here will depend upon some of the questions that you're going to answer when you install the app on your cell phone. Uh, one of the questions it asks is, can I have access to your cell phone's contacts? If you say yes, you will see every contact in your cell phone in the app, as well as any contacts that are built in the phone system. If you say no to that question, you will only see contacts from the phone system. It will not have access to your cell contacts. So you can... Uh, eliminate that if you wanted to. Some people have a lot of contacts saved in their cell phone. It'd be nice to be able to easily call them through the app, giving access to the contacts, make that make that happen. Next icon down at the bottom there is the keypad. This is where you do all of your dialing. So I can dial an outside number from here, hit call and off it goes. I can dial an internal extension from here hit call and off it goes. This is just calling voicemail. Once you're in an active call, you can see you've got hold, transfer, keypad if you were listening to an automated attendant and need to dial a DTMF digit. Mute, you can put the call on speaker. Attended transfer as a supervised transfer. Conference to do a conference or record. Uh, the 3CX does allow for call recording and you actually can record phone calls through the mobile app. Uh, if you're if your extension is set to record calls automatically, then when you make phone calls, that record button will be lit in blue. Uh, if you're recording manually only, you would simply click that record button and it would start the recording of that call. Next icon down there at the bottom is for recents. This is basically a call history uh, for every single phone call that's running your extension. So this is not just calls that I've answered through the mobile app but any call that's gone to my extension at all. I can sort this by all, outgoing only, incoming only, or missed calls. And I can just simply, you know, click, press the screen for any number on there and automatically call that number back. The next icon, the last icon really there at the bottom right is for messages. This is the instant message chat portion of the mobile app. So 3CX does supply uh, built-in uh, inner office instant message chat. So I can IM chat to anybody else in the company, uh, whether it's they're using the web client, the PC software, mobile app, doesn't matter. It's all cross-platform. I can access those chats from anywhere from here. So I can easily continue an existing chat that I may already have. Or at the bottom right there, you see a little plus sign. I can click that to start a new chat with anybody else just by simply clicking who it is I want to start with. It opens up a chat with that individual. And at the bottom, I can type in their information, click the green arrow, and send it off. They respond. It kicks back to me, and it's an IM chat right through. Uh, upper left hand corner there's three lines there get you into a menu option for the the 3cx mobile app uh, first option there you get is voicemail so i can actually access voicemails for my extension right from the mobile app i'll see them here in list form like an email layout date and time they came in duration caller id information for that i can click it to listen to it delete it whatever it may be but it's simply access to my voicemails right from the mobile app Back to that three lines, conference. Here you can actually schedule 
a web and video conference or an audio conference from here. The 3CX software does supply a full-blown web video conference collaboration uh, as well as an audio bridge conference built right into the software. And I can schedule a meeting for that right from the mobile app. So right now it's showing any, uh, any uh, meetings that I currently have scheduled, which I have one scheduled for next week, and admin training for a customer that's already cut over to 3CX. Right there, a little plus sign if I were to click that. From here, I can give it a subject, give it some notes, give it a starting time, an ending time, whether I want announcements turned on. The announcements would be, you know, when somebody joins the conference, you'll get a little ding, you know, so-and-so has joined the conference. It'll make individuals record their name so they can announce them into the conference. I can add my internal participants, my external participants, and at that point, after everything's added, there'll be a button to schedule it. I hit schedule, and at that point, an invite is sent out to all the individuals that I included on here as participants, and they'll have links to then join those meetings. Uh, the 3CX does have a separate app, which I'll show you real quick when I get done uh, this piece, where you can actually join one of those web meetings right from an app on a cell phone. Otherwise, you'd be using a PC, clicking a link through Google Chrome kind of scenario and joining them either that way or dialing into a 10-digit phone number, entering your conference ID. But there is an app on the cell phone you can actually use to join those meetings right from a cell phone. I'm going to get out of there. Back up to the three lines. From there, you just get into settings. Uh, just some minor settings here. There's accounts, audio options, application theme. Uh, theme is basically like skins. You can kind of change the coloring of it. Re-register basically just re-kicks the registration. Uh, it is cell phone. It can run off cell network. It can run off Wi-Fi. Sometimes you might be in an area where the cell data connectivity isn't the greatest. Maybe you start having some connectivity issues. You click re-register. It kind of re-kicks the registration in, and a lot of times will cure those problems unless your connectivity is just really bad. Reprovision would be usable uh, would be used if there were changes were made on the back end system for SIP username and password. The reprovision will then pull the new information down and re-register your, your app. The resend credentials actually resends the welcome email. Uh, there's a welcome email that would get pushed out with every new user within the 3CX. The welcome email gives you a lot of nice, nice information, uh, but attached to that welcome email are two important pieces for the mobile app. One is a config file that you can use to configure the mobile app, or two is a QR scanner that's also used to configure the mobile app. There's two ways to configure the app. One's a config file, one's a QR scanner. And resending the credentials would re-push you those welcome client. You have scenarios where maybe you get a new PC, you get a new phone, whatever it may be, and you could resend the credentials from the old phone, so you then have the welcome email to set up your new phone. Back into the three lines menu, the scan QR code, that's where you would go into to actually scan the QR code uh, in, the, in the welcome email to configure the app. There is no logging into the app. There's nothing to fill in. You just use one of those to config file or QR scanner, and it auto configures itself. And that is pretty much it for the mobile app. There's not a boatload to it. Um, I guess I can go through a phone call scenario, really easy to transfer calls. So if I were to get a live call here and I wanted to transfer this phone call, I can see if I'm doing a blind transfer, so I don't want to announce to the individual who I've got, I can hit the transfer icon, type in the extension number of where I want to send it, hit the green transfer button and click end and that call is gone. It would now be ringing. I can actually hear the tech room ringing over there. Just transfer that phone call to the tech room, and it's gone. They pick it up, and off they go. If I wanted to do a supervised transfer, I can get an ex a call, a call in place. I'm just giving you a voicemail. If I use the ATT transfer for attended transfer, at that point, I'm, again, going to enter whatever extension it is I'm sending it to. Hit the green call button at the bottom. That will actually place an internal phone call to that extension. Once they pick up, I can say, hey, I've got so-and-so from wherever on the phone. They pick up, I hit the transfer button again, and off they go. That call gets transferred over. They've got that call live in their ear, and they're done. 
some other options on calls. Let me get back into a live call. Again, I can hold it. If I press hold, this, the call gets put on hold. The caller hears music on hold. I can simply click the resume button to resume that call. If again, if I'm listening to an automated attendant and I needed to dial digits, I can bring up the keypad, enter a digit, and off we go there. I can mute myself. I can hit the record button to record that phone call. It's probably not going to record because it's voicemail. I don't have an active call on me. But end the call and off it goes. Very simple, really no different than what you would do from a desk phone. Very easy to transfer, very easy to conference. Uh, conference calling basically, it's get your phone, get a call active, hit conference, and really what happens here is it moves you and that caller into a conference bridge. And then from there, you're simply going to add from contacts or add from phone number. If I were to click number, at that point, I would then enter in whatever number it is. I want to add in, I click OK, it places a phone call to that number, they pick up, and we're now part all in that conference. At the bottom left-hand corner, there's an end conference button. You end conference, and that conference is killed, and everybody's kicked out. So a very e easy software to use, a lot of nice features built into it, and again, it's all part of the 3CX software. There's no extra cost to get these kind of features. They're there for every user, just by purchasing the 3CX software. Hopefully you guys find it helpful and watch any other videos you have. Uh, you can visit our website at acctelecom.com. Uh, there should be a link on there to our YouTube page and you can watch all the other videos you currently have out there. I've got one for the PC software, one for the web client, uh, as well as this one. So have a nice day.